Hello again, everybody. This is Tom from EverystepCalculus.com, EverystepPhysics.com. Uh, I'm going to do a calculus problem now with reference to the Lagrange multiplier, which finds the maximum of a function, uh, supposedly. I mean, at the end of these things, you get a number. I don't know what it means. A number means, I don't know if it means square units or cubic units or what, height? But I'm sure there's some answer to it, which is not clear in any book that I've read or studied it on the internet. It's just crunching numbers, as usual in calculus. But anyways, let's do it. Very difficult to program. Took me weeks to program this thing. And uh, so we, we, we would address most of the problems that I found in books or wherever. So let's do it. Index 8 to get to my menu. I'm going to scroll down here to the L section where I have listed Lagrange. And um, <coughs> there's Lagrange there. And we're going to enter our first function, which is function in x and y. Press alpha before you enter it here in my programs. Alpha. I'm going to do x squared minus y squared. And I show you what you've entered. We can change it if we made a mistake. I say it's okay. We're going to enter the. Con we're going to. Uh, enter the constraint by pressing alpha and the constraint is x minus 2 times y plus 6 equals 0. If you don't add the equal sign, I'll, the program will tell you and, and let you go back and do that because this has to be an equal sign in there. Constraint has to equal something. So press enter. I check and see if that's okay. It is. So I'm going to do the problem. So now we're the, this this uh, delta in front of the F means you're doing the derivative of that of each one with respect to x and with respect to y. This is respect to x, which is i, respect to y, which is j. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add lambda here, this um, little indicator here, upside down y is called lambda. And we're going to add it to each, each one of these equations while we do the derivative of, this, of the constraint. And so we're going to add that the derivative is just happens to be just lambda for the first i with respect to x and then uh, with respect to y minus 2 lambda for the j. Now we make those two quite equations 2x equals lambda and minus 2y equals minus 2 lambda. And we solve for lambda in the first equation we get lambda equals 2 times x we enter that into the second equation. Now I have to use quotation marks in, my, in the program here, but you're going to use parentheses showing the professor that you added this into the, the second equation for lambda, which equals minus 4x. And then when we solve for y, it equals 2x. We substitute that into the constraint, x minus two y plus six equals zero. We substitute that in here. We substitute it in here for y. Six equals zero. Come up with that and then we solve for x and x equals two. Substitute y into two x and we get y equals four. So we've got our answers now in that. For the f, x, and y at f at, at x equals two and y equals four we enter that into the, that, uh, the constraint. 
I'm sorry, the f of x and y, and the answer is minus 12. Pretty neat, huh? Everystepcalculus.com. Go to my site and pass calculus.